Whether or not you're using an Apple product, there's no doubt. The Apple logo is one of the most successful and most recognizable logos today, together with the green memory of Starbucks and the yellow arches of McDonald's. But in spite of its ubiquity, have you been curious as to what the Apple logo actually means? Some suggest it symbolizes the fruit that Adam and Eve ate from the tree of knowledge, which God said never to eat but they ate it anyway. Some say it has something to do with the death of Alan Turing, the father of computer science and artificial intelligence who allegedly committed suicide after being prosecuted for homosexuality by eating a cyanide-infused apple, reenacting a scene from Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Although these stories might be very interesting, unfortunately none of these claims are proven to be true. In fact, the interpretation of the Apple logo hasn't always been the same throughout the time, including the logo itself. The very first logo of Apple was designed by Ronald Wayne, co-founder of Apple, together with Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak in 1976. And by that time, the meaning of the Apple in Wayne's logo was very obvious. It was an intricate pen and ink logo depicting Sir Isaac Newton, who is known for his discovery of universal law of gravitation, sitting under an apple tree with a ribbon banner swirling around the frame bearing the name of the company. You can see that the apple here is highlighted above Newton's head. Legend has it that Newton was sitting under an apple tree when an apple fell onto his head and that triggered his discovery of the universal law of gravitation. Although that story may not be 100% accurate, the apple in this logo was a symbol of a great idea. This is what Ronald Wayne said in an interview, quote, I was trying to capture Newton and the apple, all of a sudden a great idea is born. The direct correlation is Newton and the apple triggering the idea." End quote. The logo was used in the cover of the operation manual of Apple's very first computer, the Apple One computer. Unfortunately, Steve Jobs didn't like the complexity of the logo, and so he hired a graphic artist named Rob Janoff to redesign the logo. When he was asked how did he come up with the new logo, Janoff said he just bought a bunch of apples put them in a bowl, and drew them for a week or so looking for the perfect shape. And soon after, in 1977, he came up with the logo we are all familiar with. It was a cross-section of a beaten apple filled with horizontal multicolored stripes. According to Janoff, the apple in the logo was not inspired from Newton's story, nor the story of Adam and Eve, nor Alan Turing's life. He said that the logo was just merely a straightforward depiction of the company's name which is Apple, and he included the bite for scale so that it would not look like a cherry when downsized. As to the multicolored stripes, they were suggestive of Apple's then upcoming launch of Apple II computer, which will be the world's first personal computer with color graphics, released in April of 1977. Steve Jobs liked it. He promptly approved it for production. The logo was then developed for print advertisements, signage hardware emblems, and software labels on cassette tapes, all in preparation for the launch of Apple II computer. In one presentation of Steve Jobs in 1981, he was asked why they named the company as Apple, and this was his answer. To start a company, you have to file what's called a fictitious business name statement. And what that is, the purpose of that statement which you file with the government uh, is to simply tell everyone that, uh, if Apple Computer goes out of business or, or anything having to do with Apple Computer, these are the individuals behind the, the corporate name. And as we were late into this government form, <laughs> and not knowing it, we thought that was important, so we figured it out. And uh, everyone was saying names to us like Matrix Electronics or all sorts of different names, and uh, we simply decided that we were going to call it Apple Computer and suggested a better name by 5 o'clock that day. And partially because uh, I like apples a lot, and partially because I was ahead of Atari in the phone book and I used to work at Atari. <laughs> We re-examined it on a regular basis, and we found that the juxtaposition of something that seemed to epitomize what we were going after, which was the simplicity and yet 
very refined sophistication. I've seen our first brochure, probably some of you have it, the, the title of it was Simplicity is the Ultimate Sophistication. And that wasn't just a, a bullshit slogan, it actually was really what we've been striving for. And uh, the apple seems to symbolize that. So I think we're going to stick with it. <laughs> so according to Steve's own words, aside from he likes apples and that it would came first before Atari in a phone book, the apple symbolizes simplicity and sophistication, which is what the company is always striving for. For the next 20 years, the now famous rainbow apple remained unchanged and can be seen in all Apple products, from Apple computers to Newton PDA. In 1997, Apple started to play around with their logo. They adjusted the shape very so slightly just to make it more symmetrical. And for the next 10 years, they used a variety of themes and colors for their logo, usually to complement with their new products and services. For example, they used flat monochrome logo, both solid white and solid black logos, with the release of PowerBook G3 in 1997. Then they also used different translucent colors like orange, green, blue, with the release of their iMac G3 in 1998. They also used an aqua blue style logo with the release of Mac OS X in 2001. They also used a chrome finish logo with the launch of the first generation iPhone in 2007. Since then, Apple has been using all these assorted styles simultaneously across different products and services. Until finally, starting in 2013, they have decided to be more consistent and just stick with the flat monochrome logo, either solid black, white or grey, for all of their current and upcoming products and services as what we see today. And that's the story behind the Apple logo. Do you have a more interesting theory about the meaning of the Apple logo? Or do you want to know the story behind the logo of other famous brands? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.